In this video, I'm going to show you how to fake the 360 degree camera move right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films. And yes, in today's video, we're talking all about the 360 degree camera move. Now you can do this move one of two ways and the first way I talked about in a video very recently and this is by doing this manually by hand on set. So let's say you have a free runner for example and they're going to do a bat flip. As they jump up into the bat flip you're going to spin the camera at 360 degrees, spin the camera with their movement and as they land the camera has come back round to its normal orientation. Now this way does look really awesome but it can be a little bit difficult getting this right on the day. Trying to get the timing right can be a little bit difficult, so faking it in the edit is a safer and more reliable option. So, in order to do this effect, you first need to capture some footage of the flip itself. So you're just going to put your camera on a tripod and you're just going to let somebody do a bat flip and land the bat flip. Now, you're just going to cut the camera, you're going to drop that footage onto your laptop and we're going to begin editing this effect. And we're editing this effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So, inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So, we'll go new composition, rename this to 360. You want the width to be 1920, the height to be 1080, frame rate can be 23.976. The duration can be set to six, and then we'll press OK. Now, from here, you need to go into your finder and drag the footage from the finder into After Effects. So we're gonna go into our finder and we'll drag that footage into After Effects. And once that's in After Effects, you just want to drop that on to the timeline. So I'll drop that down there. And as you can see, we've got this footage of me doing a flip. So here we go, go into the bat flip. Now, this footage is slow motion, as you can see. We don't want this to be slow motion, we want this to be sped up in real time. So, I'm just gonna right click on the footage, go up to time, and select time stretch. Now, inside of time stretch, you want to pull this down to around, let's go 40%, we'll press OK on that, and we'll just quickly review the shot. That's a little, that's a little bit too far, so we're just gonna slow that down a touch. We'll go into time stretch, go up to 45%. And there we go, that looks really good. So from here, we need to press R on the keyboard to load it rotation. We're gonna find the point where we go into the flip and we're gonna create a brand new keyframe on rotation. Now we'll scroll all the way around to the point of landing and we're just gonna go ahead and rotate the canvas 360 degrees. So if we watch this back, you can see, unfortunately, we've gone the wrong way. So this means if you're back flipping to the right, then you have to do the rotation to the left. So if we make this negative one rather than plus one, then the camera should perfectly follow the camera movements. There we go, that looks really good. The problem is with this though, is we can see the black edges on the left and the right of the video. So I'm just gonna press S on the keyboard to load up scale and we'll increase the scale a touch. Now, we'll press the drop down arrow on this video to load up anchor point, position, scale, rotation and opacity. And at the point of takeoff with the first keyframe on rotation, we're gonna create a brand new keyframe on position. Now we'll move the position up to the very center of the frame. If you want to turn on the proportional grid as well to help you line this up, then you are more than welcome to. It's also really important that you line up the anchor point with the center of the movement, because when we animate the rotation, the rotation is gonna animate around this anchor point here, but we want the anchor point to be roughly in the middle of the body. So we're gonna to go to anchor point and we're gonna move this up so that it is roughly halfway down the body. Now, when we play this forward, there we go. That looks a lot better. So we'll go to the first keyframe. We'll just update the position, making sure that you're in the center of the video. Move over a few seconds, move the position back over again. Move over a little bit of time, move that back over again. Keep updating this position. 
and go all the way to the very end and update the position. Now when we watch this back, you want to make sure that the person stays in the centre of the frame. As you can see, there are these four boxes in the centre of After Effects. You want to try and keep the person within these four boxes if possible. So as the person is back flipping, we can see they fall just out of the box, so we're going to put them back in. Just update that position one more time. And once you're happy with the look of that, we can select all of those keyframes that we just created. We can right click or double click on one of those, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And that should smooth out that motion. Of course though, it is a little bit too fast right now. So we're just going to pull the first two keyframes over to the left. And we're just going to pull the last keyframes over to the right a touch. And if we play this back, that should be a lot smoother. Now, of course, we still have the problem of seeing the black video on the left and the right of our video. So we need to go ahead and we need to mirror the edges of the video and recreate this video over on the left and the right. And in order to do that, we need to go into effects and presets, search for motion tile, drop motion tile onto our video. And inside of motion tile, we want to increase the output width from 100 to 300. We want to change the output height from 100 to 300 as well. And then you want to select mirror edges. And as you can see, just on the right here, that has mirrored the edge of the video just here. So if I turn that off, we've got black. And if we turn that back on, we've got the mirrored video. And if we scrub all the way through this footage, you can see there is no more black video appearing throughout the entire video. So that's really good. I'm going to close that down, we'll go into effects and presets, and we're going to search for wiggle position. In animation presets and behaviors, you should find wiggle position. And we're just going to drop wiggle position onto our video. And this is going to add a little bit of basic camera shake. So as you can see, it is a little bit aggressive. So we're just going to pull down the wiggle amount to 30, pull down the wiggle speed to around 0.5. And if we play this back, so there you go, that looks really smooth. Now, if you were doing this effect in real life, you would probably turn a little bit one way before you started the effect to accelerate into it. And when you came out of it, you'd probably bounce and then come back in. So we want to try and recreate that camera movement with this effect. So we'll press R on the keyboard. And as you can see, we start on zero and we go all the way around to negative one. So we've done 360 degrees in the opposite direction. So we'll go to our first keyframe, move this over a few frames to the left, move one frame over to the right, and then we're going to pull this up to around plus seven. So if we play this back, we've got a really quick bounce into this. So we want to increase the gap between those keyframes. So we're winding back into the effects. And there we go, that looks really nice. But we need to go ahead and we need to do that on the end of the camera movement as well. So we're just going to pull this keyframe over to the right a few frames. And then just probably three or four frames before that last keyframe, we just want to pull the position down to around negative one times 12. Now we'll do negative one times 17.3. And as you can see, we've got that really nice bounce, although it is a little bit artificial. So I'm just gonna increase the gap between those keyframes. That looks a lot nicer. Of course though, if you wanted to add a bounce on the other end as well, then you just move the last keyframe over again. Then you just add a little bit of rotation around the other way. And if we play this back, that looks really awesome and really realistic. Although there is just one more thing that we need to do to really sell this effect off, and that is to add some motion blur. So we'll stop playing that. We'll go over to the video down here on the timeline and we'll select the motion blur box here. And it's really important that this blue button here is blue. If it's not blue, the motion blur will not be activated. So it's really important this is blue to ensure that the motion blur is on. And there you go, if we quickly render this out and we play the footage back, 
you can see we've created this really awesome and really realistic 360 degree camera rotation effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.